Hi, my name is Bailey Spin and I am a musician. What happened to going out on dates, knocking at my door with a bouquet? Everybody now is so fast paced. Our love is dying. What happened to kissing me goodnight? Chivalry is gone, we've lost the fight. I don't wanna keep wasting my time. I'm so done trying. I always really loved music. I played a lot of instruments when I was a kid. The second I had the chance, I started with viola and then I played the trombone and the flute and the ukulele. And also now I play the electric guitar. And I always was really, really obsessed with musical theater. I was a big theater kid and I saw a lot of shows in New York with my dad. And I was just very like enchanted by how powerful their voices were and telling a story with what they were singing. And I always loved it. And I'd sing karaoke in the basement every single day, but I was always a little too afraid to share it with the internet. So it stayed secretive for a while. I write mainly about me. I think I've been saying that I'm Hannah Montana and my social media presence versus my musical presence are like two totally different people. Uh, my social media presence is really not based around my real life most of the time. I don't really share too much, but the music really gives you a look into how I feel and what my personal experiences are and how my life has been. Cause Romance is Dead came from a place, I said that in my house one day and then we went in the studio and wrote that song and I always have felt like I've not been enough, that's where Runner Up came from, so they're very personal and I like to keep them personal because writing about your own experiences can sometimes help other people to you know, feel a little bit better about what they're going through because if I can put it out there and they felt the same thing, it might help them get through it the same way it helped me. I have a lot of feelings, but if I can't really put them into words, it's no use to me. So I wait until I can really pinpoint that idea and what exactly my feelings are and what I want to say. But they really help me to get over whatever I'm struggling with and kind of speak it into existence and try not to hold on to it as much because now I can listen to this and feel a little bit better about it and know that somebody else in the world is going to listen to it and agree with me. Why does it feel like I'm never Uh, every chance I have in my free time, I'm in my little notebook writing down song ideas or trying to compute what my thoughts are saying to me. But I have been kind of off my social media grind because I really was trying to put the time into focus on really emerging myself as a musician and playing the guitar and singing. I've been belting in my house a lot. My neighbors probably do not like me very much. My stairway is right next to theirs and I'm always singing and off the top of my head all the time. Runner Up was the first one in the studio that I actually liked, which is a little brutal to the other songs I had made, but I had made a lot and I, it just didn't give me that feeling of love. I was like, these are okay. Didn't really do it for me. Like I wouldn't play it on repeat in the car. Like I couldn't imagine myself listening to it more than a few times. But when we made Runner Up, I also had the chance to work with really great writers and musicians that I was really inspired by. And so when I first heard a bounce, I fell in love with Runner Up and it just felt right. And it was the first one to ever come out of the studio fully done, fully produced, fully written. And it was very, very special to me. And it also was coming from a very personal place and kind of putting my experiences out there and telling everyone that I felt like a second best, you know, Sometimes your friends aren't the best and relationships can't be the best, but it was kind of trying to take back the power and not feel as bad about it. I used to be kind of bad at making melodies. It was just something that didn't come naturally to me, but as I've been in the studio more, I've been doing a lot of melodies by myself and I go off of lyrics a lot of the time. I start with lyrics because it's what I know best. I was always very good at English and writing and I script all of my videos online. So I always have a lot of funny ideas in my head and I write them out, but it helps me a lot to have a track to kind of listen to and get the things flowing. And so I can come up with a melody when I'm in there, but I do come up with some on my own accord. Are they more positive songs you're gonna write or is it just what's on your mind? It's typically just what's on my mind and a lot of them had just turned out a little bit sad, but I did write a more upbeat one recently. I've been trying to kind of take a stance of taking back my power instead of 
speaking about it and being sad about it, kind of doing the complete opposite and talking about it, but then taking back the power. And I've just made kind of like a breakup song and really standing my ground and saying, you know, you didn't deserve me and trying to send more of a positive message. But sometimes what's on my mind, if the thoughts aren't positive, then they just aren't. coming out with an EP. I probably scrapped like 15 songs before I got to the five that made the final cut. It's mostly just a feeling. I want to love it when I listen back to it. I always have a routine of playing it in the car and seeing how I feel about it. And sometimes they just don't work. I'd listen to it and I'm like, this is not what I wanted. Like this isn't really what I pictured or my idea didn't really come onto paper exactly how I thought it would. Sometimes it just happens like that. Ew, what is on your face? What? what do you mean? Look at yourself. What is that? Your hand must have slipped while you did eyeliner. I didn't do it. Why would I mess with my nose contour like this? Okay, guys, let's not fight. Your soulmate probably did it. What, did they draw on me in my sleep? No, whatever your soulmate draws on themselves shows up on you too. And done. Dude, why would you do that? It looks so bad. It was already bad. Hey, Bailey, nice butt chin. What? I do not have a butt chin. You literally have a butt drawn on your chin. Oh, this means war. Let's see how they like that. You spelled regrets wrong. I did. Bailey, what is on your face? Go to the office now. But I didn't even do it. Oh, don't worry. Your counterpart's in the office already. Okay, I'll go. I wake up and immediately start filming content most of the time. Just straight off the jump, I, I have to get it out of the way. And that's how it's been for me for two years. I wake up every single day and make a video immediately. And uh, then I go to the gym. I write music. Sometimes there's some things in between, but really I, I wake up, make videos, go to the gym, and then go to sleep. <laughs> I definitely kind of want to stay in this general vicinity of pop rock, alternative, pop punk. I've kind of varied back and forth from heavier and leaning a little more pop and leaning a little more rock and making some ballads, but I really like that space. And I've tried a lot of other things in the studio. Like I've tried doing more speaking, a little more rapping, just trying different things to see what works for me and what doesn't. But I really like the pop rock music and it makes me really happy and it keeps me inspired. I just love guitars and drums and hearing it and the high energy of it all. So I probably will stay in that lane. There's been people who are like totally unrelated to all of my social platforms. There's been people who come up to me and they're like, oh, I found you through your music. And then I Googled you and found out that you know, you make these videos too, and I love you and your music and your videos. It's, it's good to hear that people are finding me through the art that I'm putting out and not through my social media platforms because that was the only thing I had gotten before. But it's been very special to me finding those people who have found me through music and they love the music and then kind of discover more of me through the music. I am Bailey Spin everywhere. I kept it very easy. I didn't want to confuse people, but Spin is not my real last name. It's just S-P-I-N-N. -N. Hi, my name is Bailey Spin and you've just been buzzed. <laughs>